Hello, welcome to uh, In The Red Corner. Um, as you can see, going old school, going traditional on this channel. Um, back in car, recording. Um, I was thinking about going live, but I ain't got that much time, to be honest, as time of recording. Um, it's Sunday, and what, 20 to 12-ish? And I start work at 1, so I ain't really got time to do a live, so I just thought I'd uh, record. Uh, my thoughts about game um other day against Bolton um in playoff uh, first leg semi final um before I get to that thank you uh to all my new subscribers do appreciate it um never thought my channel would get this big um uh, still relatively small and all uh, compared to other channels out there about uh reds but uh I never thought I'd get this far, so thank you uh, for your all for doing that. And thanks to Burnsley Sport, Oakwell Sandwich, uh, my main sponsors, and my number one supporter on channel, Chalky White. Um, again, just can't thank you enough, pal. Um, so thank you for uh, sticking by the channel, and thank you. Um, so, yeah, I just thought to give me thoughts on the game from the other day. Um, regular viewers of Tykes TV will have seen me yesterday on there. Uh, what I'm about to say is probably uh, going to be more or less same, to be honest, but I just thought I'd give uh, my thoughts on game uh, on my channel as well. Um, so, you know, just uh, pop it in my, I don't know, my style, if you want, if that's correct terminology, but uh, yeah. 3-1 uh, loss in the first leg at Oakwell. Um, and again, like I said on Tanks TV, what am I about to say? It's not sour grapes. I think Bolton are the better team. Um, I don't think they've got better players. Uh, what I'd give for us to have like that Charles and Collins, um, what Bolton's got in our team, and that's difference. Um, it's quality players like that. Um, also, that centre half of theirs as well. I thought he had an absolute fantastic game. Um, honestly, do. Um, but I ain't got a problem with that. The the main problem that I did have with pro uh, players on that game was the fight. Um, the willingness to put the bodies up line. Um, fighting for cause, and I think all that were lacking um, through most of the team. Um, one or two I thought had a decent game, and I thought Phillips did all right. Um, and I thought uh, when he came on, um, go on Grant, uh, when he came on uh, a sub, uh, I thought he was um, fighting and showing what he's all about. Cosgrove. I mean, it says a lot when Cosgrove got man at match and, you know, he came on as a sub. Uh, yeah, he scored goal, but it's not a good sign when um, a substitute gets man at match uh, for me. Um, but, yeah, just lack of passion for me, lack of fate. I've said before, too many players are waiting for the season to end uh, so they can think about, first of all, the holidays, then the new clubs, um, and I think that's evident. I'll stand by it, whether uh, club, uh, coach, or Devaney, or whoever says, no, that's not the case, the professionals, I'm sorry, but I don't think you can argue against it. I, I thought Devante Cole, Herbie Kane, I mean, this goes on. Uh, Williams, not only just them as well, but... <laughs> they don't look bothered to me. Um, I'm sorry, but they don't. Um, if you know, you don't want to be there. Uh, why are we still picking them? Um, personally, I think on Tuesday. I, again, I said it on Tykes TV, and I'll probably get slated for it. But I'd start that Grant of a Kane. Um, I'd start Cosgrove. It's. I don't know. I'd. I'd if he's not injured, I'd even put Cotter in uh, on Tuesday. 
Um, it, it, it will just, for me, an artless display um, at Barnsley on Friday, and it was just so disappointing. Like I say, if you know you're going up against quality players, put a bit of art in it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think, um, and we'll take it from there. Bye-bye.